Sri Panna Kannada, Sri Panna c. 950, was a noted Kannada poet in the court of Rashtrakuta dynasty King Krishna III R. CE. The emperor honoured Panna with the title, ''Emperor among poets'' for his domination of the Kannada literary circles of the time, and the title, ''Imperial Poet of Two Languages'' for his command over Sanskrit as well. Panna is often considered one among the three gems of Kannada literature. Ratnatreya, lit meaning three gems, Adhikavi Pampa and Rana being the other two for ushering it in full panoply. According to the scholar R. Narasimacharya, Panna is known to have claimed superiority over all the poets of the time. According to scholars Nilakanda Shastri and E.P. Rice, Panna belonged to Vengi, in modern Andhra Pradesh, but later migrated to Manyaheta in modern Gulbarga district, Karnataka, the Rashtrakuta capital, after his conversion to the Jainism. Writings <laughs> 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 His most famous extant works in Kannada are Shantapurana, written in Shampu style, mixed prose verse classical composition style inherited from Sanskrit, Bhuvanika Ramabudaya, a eulogical writing, and Jinaksharamale, a Jain Purana and an acrostic poem written in praise of noted Jain saints and Tirthankars in 39 chapters khandas. Ramakatha, a writing based on the Hindu epic Ramayana, of which only a few stanzas are available is also assigned to Pana. Historians Kamath and Shastri are not certain whether his extinct classic, Gadapratyagata, is in Kannada or Sanskrit. However, according to the professor L.S. Sheshajiri Rao of the Sahitya Akademi, the writing is in Kannada and belongs to the genre of literary exercise. Shantapurana is an important Jain Purana, and a eulogy of the 16th Jain Tirthankara and emperor, Shantinatha. It was written to commemorate the attainment of Nirvana. Salvation of a Jain guru called Jainashandra Deva. The writing comprises twelve sections Ashwases of which nine sections focus on Shantanatha's eleven previous births, and the remaining three sections give biographical details of the protagonist. In this writing, Panna borrowed significantly from previous works of the Sanskrit poet Kalidasa though he does rise to great heights in his narration justifying his claim to scholarship Vidwit Kavi. Panna also seems to have used as a source, a narrative poem written by a Kannada poet called Asaga, whose works are now extinct. Panna's claim that his work is superior to that of Asaga gives us information that the latter must have been considered an important poet of that era. Scholars were divided about Panna's protagonist in Bhuvanika Ramabudaya. The scholar D.L. Narasimachar had opined that Panna had eulogized Shankaraganda, a vassal king under Emperor Krishna III. This opinion was based on the fact that Shankaraganda held the honorific Bhuvanikarama. However, modern Kannada poet Govinda Pai argued in his 1936 article, Panana Bhuvanayakaramanu Yaru, who was Panas Bhuvanikarama, that King Shankaraganda being a Jain by faith could not have been the central figure in a secular writing and that Emperor Krishna III also held the same title. Later, the scholar D.L. Narasimachar confirmed the validity of Govinda Pai's findings. Topic. Influence and style Panna was one of the most notable writers of the classical age of Kannada literature, a period usually categorized as starting from the middle of 10th century and lasting for about 150 years thereafter. During this era, Panna and two other poets, Adhikavi Pampa and Rana, produced works of lasting merit, writings that set a standard in poetic form and composition that would influence future poets for centuries. So adept were these poets that their style of shampoo brought together the best of the earlier masters of Sanskrit literature in various proportions, giving their narration an artificiality. Poet Bana's prose, Kalidasa's graceful verses, Bhata Narayana's dramaticism, and Megaduta's lyrical flavor are seen used deftly, giving naturalized and assimilated Sanskrit words in the Kannada language priority over native desi expressions. Despite adherence to strict classical Sanskritic models marjum, the native composition styles of Kannada language, such as the Tripadi three-line verse, are found distributed in the narratives poems of these poets. Just as Panna eulogized his patron King Krishna III as Bhuvanikarama, so did the other Jain poets of the classical age. 
Kannada writings by them used impressive Sanskrit derived verses interspersed with prose to extol the virtues of their protagonists, who were often compared to heroes from the Hindu epics. While Adhikavi Pampa, Pampa Bharata, c. 941 compared his patron, the feudatory Chalukya king Arakesari, to Pandava prince Arjuna, in his version of the Hindu epic Mahabharata, Rana c. 983 found it suitable to compare his patron, Chalukya king Satishraya, to Pandava prince Bhima. <laughs> Notes <laughs>